So let's see. I will rely now on the written instruction for use because I cannot watch the video parallel now here. But uh, both are very well done. Yeah. So yeah. So we have to put in the. Let's see. Yeah, so we put in the, the focusing paper, that's in the box here, and yeah, this is what it, this is what it looks like here, okay, so you bend, bend it a little bit here, you can hold it better, yeah, and then you open up the printer carefully. So now I will have to switch back to the other angle that I had before. So that's okay. Uh, so I put in the, the paper now, yeah, as you can see. And um, then in the software, Okay, I have to press, yeah, the instruction for use, it says press this button here. Then it says press the focus setting page, it's this one here. So the machine is powering on. Yeah, and Oh, it starts focusing, yeah. Okay, it's hard to see. I have to line it, try to line it up. Yeah, it's not so easy to see. I don't know if it gets lighter. You know, I have the, the, the camera light here now on. Maybe I should have to switch off the over, overhead light to see it a little bit better. Does that help? Now it would be really good if I could switch off all the lights, but then the camera cannot see anything anymore here. Me filming this. Okay, so you see in here. Yeah, you can, might not be able to see it really clear, but you can see a pattern and it has to align with the paper. Yeah. It says, put the supplied focus and paper into the resin tank, align with the projection edge. Make sure that the projection scale is in good alignment with the edges of the focusing paper. Yeah, this is why it took me so long. Yeah. Okay, so I have to to write down my, my settings, but it seems to be seems to be okay for the moment. I will leave it because I, I, I first have to get used to this a little bit better. And it says, when the machine is projecting the UV frame, please do not sh stare at the frame or the beam directly. Yeah, I'm looking at it uh, angulate uh, from, from an angle, so I'm not looking at it from a top, and I don't have UV protection glasses, so this is, yeah, they didn't supply me with any, so I, and I wasn't aware that I have to have some. Uh, please note down your settings. Okay, I have to get a piece of paper. So we have there 6.5. Three point nine six nine, and uh, it's the choice is no gray, whatever that means. I don't know. I will find out. No gray. Now I'm not gonna modify it because I think it's okay. Okay, then I. And now they ask you to loosen the the 
the screws here. tight. Hopefully it will not crush anything in there. I will make it really loose. Yeah, so the screws are really loose but the, the fit yeah, here on the sides towards the block it is seems to be really tight. There should be, I don't know if it would be better, if there would be a little bit more tolerance because here we have to push up really, really hard in order to, to move it. So I think the, the motor is going to have a hard time um, pushing it down for the next step. I don't know if it might help if I would apply some lubrication there. So yeah, I will stop the video here and I will lubricate the build platform. Okay, so in the meantime, I've um, lubricated uh, the platform so it's it moves easier up and down now. Seems to be okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it now. Yeah, so I will press this now, hoping that everything goes fine. Manual motor, but nothing, nothing happens. Manual motor, oh now it works. Okay, then um, the next one would be, and I think I have to put you closer to the screen again. go back so you can see so yeah I have to press this one now and then I have to press uh, find home that's that one Ooh, it's moving so I put them now in the oh no I should yeah the lowest position I think huh? okay so that's the, it doesn't go further than that you see there's a there's a gap in here ah, here you can see so now <clears throat> I have to fine-tune this hmm? after the platform stops descending carefully observe the four screws at the side yeah, but uh, it's not touching. So I have to drop the platform manually now. But I don't know how much it will descend. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure. I will have to watch the, the video closely. I have it uh, set up parallel next to me. Hmm. See if I can pick it go up further. Ah, let me see what other options. Self home. Yeah, so it has another one. Uh, I will I will choose this one.
fine tuning. Um, how can I? Oh no. Okay, this way it's working. So I I don't know what the other option meant to be. Uh, I think they mixed up a little bit uh, this whole this whole thing because the manual motor it didn't take me further down than you have just seen. Yeah. So this one here, the outer home, I think is what you should go for. And <clears throat> what I'm trying to achieve now is. Um, I will show you. I'm achieving here to 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 have the screws. Let me press one further down. As you see, it, it dropped only a little bit now. Uh, it's not in focus, is it? Yeah. So now it is. Mm, not so easy. This camera. Okay, as you see now. I think I will leave it that way, and uh, I, I'm quite sure that the the screws uh, can be tightened in that in that position, and the platform is touching the vat. Yeah, and everything should be fine that way. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing. I will show you in the instruction, and also the film uh, it uh, tells you something different. So, as you see here. Um, they tell you here to use the manual, the manual one, and then uh, you should lower the platform. I, di I did that and I, I wasn't able to touch the platform. And the advanced version, <laughs> yeah, advanced setting, that would be the one with the auto home that I just used now. So that's a little bit confusing. So this is what you should go for. You should go for the advanced version right away. And that way I was able to drop the platform all the way down. And uh, if you leave the, the settings as they are, you will see in the display uh, just a 0.5. Uh, that is 0 0.5. And that uh, also says do not exceed that. So just leave it in the default settings and then just drop uh, the platform down with the arrow downwards until you find the, the position that I have just showed you. Yeah. Okay, so it says that uh, it is installed now. I will tighten the screws and then I will proceed to the next step. Two things that you additionally would need. That would be uh, the lubrication and uh, it might be better to have these safety glasses. I don't know how, if I harmed my eyes, but I, I didn't look at from up here like that. I was look, looking at it from the side, you know, uh, trying to find the focus. And off camera, I, I tried to, to, to adjust the focusing. And uh, you have to uh, please dare to press the, the buttons, yeah? The 0 0.1, not the 0 0.01 plus and minus, but the 0 0.1 plus and minus, just to see what is happening. So you get an understanding what what happens when what does the display get bigger and when smaller, and then you know how to find you. Otherwise, if you go for the for the uh, smaller digit, digits right away, you have no understanding what happens. Yeah, and it took me a while to get it focused. Um, but what happened is uh, I ended up having the same settings as in the beginning that I just noted down. Yeah, but at least I, 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 I understood what was happening. So tr really try to adjust a little bit uh, that you learn from it. Good. Okay, so I will watch the next step of the, of the video and then I will go on. Yeah, I will go on with the next step.